110, don't you be afraid, for I am with you. Don't be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. Yes, I will uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness. we are healed. Psalm 34, 17 through 19. The righteous cry and Yahweh hears delivers them out of all their troubles. Yahweh is near to those who have a broken heart and saves those who have a crushed spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but Yahweh delivers him out of them all.
Psalm 107, 20. He sends his word and heals them, delivers them from their graves. Jeremiah 30, 
17. For I will restore health to you, and I will heal you of your wounds. Jeremiah 33, 6. Behold, I will bring it health and cure, and I will cure them, and I will reveal to them abundance of peace and truth. Matthew 4:23. Jesus went about in all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the good news of the kingdom, and healing every disease and every sickness among the people. Matthew 10, 1. He called to himself his twelve disciples and gave them authority over unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal every disease and every sickness. Matthew 10, 8 Heal the sick cleanse the lepers, and cast out demons. Freely you received, so freely give. Matthew 14, 14. Jesus went out, and he saw a great multitude had compassion on them and healed their sick. Mark 2, 17. When Jesus heard it, he said to them, those who are healthy have no need for a physician, but those who are sick, I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Mark 5:34. He said to her, Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be cured of your disease. Luke 5, 17 through 26. those days he was teaching, and there were Pharisees and teachers of the law sitting by, who had come out of every village of Galilee, Judea, Jerusalem. The power of the Lord was with him to heal them. Behold, men brought a paralyzed man on a cot, and they sought to bring him in to lay before Jesus. Not finding a way to bring him in because of the multitude, they went up to the housetop and let him down through the tiles with his cot into the middle before Jesus. Seeing their faith, he said to him, Man, your sins are forgiven you. The scribes and the Pharisees began to reason, saying, Who is this that speaks blasphemies? Who can forgive sins but God alone? But 
Jesus, perceiving their thoughts, answered them, Why are you reasoning so in your hearts? Which is easier to say, Your sins are forgiven you, or to say, Arise and walk. But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. He said to the paralyzed man, I tell you, Arise, and take up your cot, and go to your house. Immediately he rose up before them, and took up that which he was laying on, and departed to his house, glorifying God. Amazement took hold on all, and they glorified God. Luke 13, 11 through 13. Behold, there was a woman who had a spirit of infirmity 18 years. And she was bent over and could in no way straighten herself up. When Jesus saw her, he called her and said to her, Woman, you are freed from your infirmity. He laid his hands on her and immediately she stood straight up and glorified God. Acts 4, 29 through 30. Grant to your servants to speak your word with all boldness, while you stretch out your hand to heal, and that signs and wonders may be done through the name of your holy servant, Jesus. Acts 9, 34 through 35. Peter said to him, Aeneas, Jesus Christ heals you. Get up and make your bed. Immediately he arose. All who lived at Lydda and in Sharon saw him, and they turned to the Lord. Acts 10, 34 through 38. Peter opened his mouth and said, Truly I perceive that God doesn't show favoritism, but in every nation he who fears him and works righteousness is acceptable to him. The word which he sent to the children of Israel, preaching good news of peace by Jesus Christ, he is Lord of all. You yourselves know what happened, which was proclaimed throughout all Judea, beginning from Galilee, after the baptism which John preached, even Jesus of Nazareth, how God anointed him with the Holy Spirit and with power, who went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. First Corinthians fifteen, forty two through forty four. The body is sown perishable, it is raised imperishable. It is sown in dishonor, it is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness, it is raised in power. It is sown a natural body. It is raised a spiritual body. James 
James 5.16 Confess your offenses to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. The insistent prayer of a righteous person is powerfully effective. First Peter two twenty one through twenty four. For to this you were called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving you an example that you should follow his steps, who did not sin, neither was deceit found in his mouth, who when he was cursed didn't curse back suffered didn't threaten, but committed himself to him who judges righteously, who his own self bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we, having died to sins, might live to righteousness, by whose stripes you were healed. John 1, 2. Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be healthy, even as your soul prospers. Exodus 15, 26. If you will diligently listen to Yahweh your God's voice, and will do that which is right in his eyes, and will pay attention to his commandments, and keep all his statutes, I will put none of the diseases on you which I have put on the Egyptians. For I am Yahweh who heals you. Matthew eleven twenty eight through thirty. heavily burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. above all peoples. There shall not be male or female barren among you or among your livestock. Yahweh will take away from you all sickness and none of the evil diseases of Egypt which you know will he put on you. Psalm 91 He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High will 
rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of Yahweh, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. For He will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers. Under His wings you will take refuge. His faithfulness is your shield and rampart. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked, because you have made Yahweh your refuge and the Most High your dwelling place. No evil shall happen to you, neither shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he will put his angels in charge of you, to guard you in all your ways. They will bear you up in their hands, so that you won't dash your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and cobra. You will trample the young lion and the serpent underfoot. Because he has set his love on me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. He will call on me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. I will satisfy him with long life and show him my salvation. Romans 8, 2, and 11. But if the spirit of him who raised up Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised up Christ Jesus from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through his spirit who dwells in you. Second Corinthians four fifteen through eighteen. For all things are for your sakes, that the grace, being multiplied through the many, may cause the thanksgiving to abound to the glory of God. Therefore we don't faint, but though our outward man is decaying, yet our inward man is renewed day by day. For our light affliction, which is for the moment, works for us more and more exceedingly an eternal weight of glory. While we don't look at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Second Corinthians 10, 3-5 
we don't wage war according to the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not of the flesh, but mighty before God to the throwing down of strongholds, throwing down imaginations and every high thing that is exalted against the knowledge of God and bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. Psalm 51, 10-12 Create in me a clean heart, O God. Renew a right spirit from your presence and don't take your Holy Spirit from me restore to me the joy of your salvation uphold me with a willing spirit testifies with our spirit that we are children of God and if children then heirs heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ if indeed we suffer with him that we may also be glorified with him for I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which will be revealed toward us. Daniel 3, 26-27 Then Nebuchadnezzar came near to the mouth of the burning fiery furnace. He spoke and said, Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, you servants of the Most High God, come out and come here. Then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came out of the middle of the fire. The satraps, the deputies, and the governors, and the king's counselors being gathered together saw these men, that the fire had no power on their bodies, nor was the hair of their heads singed, neither were their pants changed, nor had the smell of fire passed on them. Isaiah 41.10 Don't you be afraid, for I am with you. Don't be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. Yes, I will uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness. Isaiah 53, 5. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought our peace was on him, and by his wounds we are healed.
Psalm 34, 17 through 19. The righteous cry, and Yahweh hears, and delivers them out of all their troubles. Yahweh is near to those who have a broken heart, and saves those who have a crushed spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but Yahweh delivers him out of them all. Psalm 103, 1 through 5. Praise Yahweh, my soul. All that is within me, praise his holy name. Praise Yahweh, my soul, and don't forget all his benefits. Who forgives all your sins, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from destruction, who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies who satisfies your desire with good things, so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. James 5, 13 through 15. Is any among you suffering? Let him pray. Is any cheerful? Let him sing praises. Is any among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the assembly and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith will heal him who is sick and the Lord will raise him up. If he has committed sins, he will be forgiven. Psalm 6, verse 2. Have mercy on me, Yahweh, for I am faint. Yahweh, heal me, for my bones are troubled. Psalm 41, 3. Yahweh will sustain him on his sickbed and restore him from his bed of illness. Psalm 147.3 He heals the broken in heart and binds up their wounds. Psalm 107, 20. He sends his word and heals them and delivers them from their graves. Proverbs 3, 5 through 8. Trust in Yahweh with all your heart. Don't lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will make your path straight. Don't be wise in your own eyes. Fear Yahweh and depart from evil. It will be health to your body and nourishment to your bones.
Proverbs 16, 24. Pleasant words are a honeycomb, sweet to the soul and health to the bones. Proverbs 4, 20 through 22. My son, attend to my words. Turn your ear to my sayings. Let them not depart from your eyes. Keep them in the center of your heart, for they are life to those who find them and health to their whole body. Proverbs 14.30 The life of the body is a heart at peace, but envy rots the bones. Proverbs 16.24 Pleasant words are a honeycomb, sweet to the soul and health to the bones. Proverbs 17, 22. A cheerful heart makes good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Proverbs 18, 14. A man's spirit will sustain him in sickness, but a crushed spirit who can bear? Isaiah 57, 18 through 19. I have seen his ways and will heal him. I will lead him also and restore comforts to him and to his mourners. I create the fruit of the lips. Peace, peace to him who is far off and to him who is near, says Yahweh, and I will heal them. Isaiah 58, 8. Then your light will break out as the morning, and your healing will appear quickly. Then your righteousness shall go before you, and Yahweh's glory will be your rear guard. Jeremiah 30, 17. For I will restore health to you, and I will heal you of your wounds. Jeremiah 33, 6. Behold, I will bring it health and cure and I will cure them, and I will reveal to them abundance of peace and truth. Matthew 4, 23. Jesus went about in all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the good news of the kingdom, and healing every disease 
and every sickness among the people. Matthew 10, 8, heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, and cast out demons. Freely you received, so freely give. had compassion on them and healed their sick. Mark 2, 17 When Jesus heard it, he said to them, those who are healthy have no need for a physician, but those who are sick. I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Finding a way to bring him in because of the multitude, they went up to the housetop and let him down through the tiles with his cot into the middle before Jesus. Seeing their faith, he said to him, Man, your sins are forgiven you. The scribes and the Pharisees began to reason, saying, Who is this that speaks blasphemies? Who can forgive sins but God alone? But Jesus, perceiving their thoughts, answered them, Why are you reasoning so in your hearts? Which is easier to say, Your sins are forgiven you, or to say, Arise and walk? But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins said to the paralyzed man, I tell you, arise, and take up your cot, and go to your house. Immediately he rose up before them, and took up that which he was laying on, and departed to his house, glorifying God. Amazement took hold on all, and they glorified God.
Luke 13, 11 through 13. Behold, there was a woman who had a spirit of infirmity 18 years. She was bent over and could in no way straighten herself up. When Jesus saw her, he called her and said to her, Woman, you are freed from your infirmity. He laid his hands on her, and immediately she stood straight up and glorified God. After the baptism which John preached, even Jesus of Nazareth, how God anointed him with the Holy Spirit and with power, who went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him.
his body on the tree. That we, having died to sins, might live to righteousness, by whose stripes you were healed. Third John 1, 2 Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be healthy, even as your soul prospers. Exodus 15, 26. If you will diligently listen to Yahweh your God's voice, and will do that which is right in his eyes, and will pay attention to his commandments, and keep all his statutes, I will put none of the diseases on you which I have put on the Egyptians. For I am Yahweh who heals you. Matthew eleven twenty eight through thirty. Come to me, all who labor and are heavily burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Deuteronomy 7, 14 through 15. You shall be blessed above all peoples. There shall not be male or female barren among you or among your livestock. Yahweh will take away from you all sickness, and none of the evil diseases of Egypt which you know will he put on you. Psalm 91 He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of Yahweh, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. For He will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers. Under his wings you will take refuge. His faithfulness is your shield and rampart. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness nor of the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked. 
because you have made Yahweh your refuge and the Most High your dwelling place. No evil shall happen to you, neither shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he will put his angels in charge of you to guard you in all your ways. They will bear you up in their hands so that you won't dash your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and cobra. You will trample the young lion and the serpent underfoot. Because he has set his love on me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. He will call on me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. I will satisfy him with long life and show him my salvation. 